Dressing room number one, what do you want? No, I'm afraid Mr. Eric Porter is still on stage. No, Mr. Porter won't be available for about 10 minutes. Goodbye. Come in. Ah, good evening. Is there something I can do to help you? I don't know about your own, but I'm off. Do you... <laughs> <laughs> Miss Eric Porter? Ah, but you've come to the right place. Please come in. <laughs> My name is Ernie Wise. Like a lamb to the slaughter. <laughs> Leave this to me. Don't start anything. You can't finish. <laughs> good evening. Hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, did, did you receive our letter about a guest appearance on our show, I hope? <laughs> on that lovely pink paper. Yes. A word in your ear. What? Keep your hand on your holiday money. <laughs> Evening. <laughs> Hello. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Will uh, Mr. Eric Porter be long? As a matter of fact, he's just coming up to the interval now. Yeah. I'll go and tell him you're here. Oh, thank you. I shan't be a jip. <laughs> I thought that he, he was, was at it, Porter. Well, I was worried about rehearsals, I'll tell you that. <laughs> now, look, you know why we've come along to his dressing room? No. I'm going to ask Eric Porter if he'll appear in my play. That's a good idea. Now, behave yourself. Yes, I will. A nice room, these, aren't they? Ah, nice, yeah. What's appearing here this week? Julius Caesar. I love a musical. <laughs> Mr. Eric Porter. I knew I was right. How are you? I'm sorry about that other mix-up back there. I didn't realize. Who's the lady with the knife? <laughs> huh? Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Wise. Yes. yes. How do you do? <laughs> oh, Mr. Porter. Hmm? What shall I do? To Birmingham and they've taken me on the crib. Take me back to London. Quick, I'm Mr. Porter, silly girl. Do, I am. Hey. Hey. Eric Morecambe. <laughs> Eric Porter. How do you do, do, Mr. Morecambe? Please. Now, if you'll just excuse me, I'll just get changed, yes. and then we can talk. Right, Pastor. How's the pantomime doing this week, then? <laughs> pantomime? Well, yes, you'll be the dame in that dress, won't you? You'll play the part of the dame. That's a lovely wig, that. You ought to get one of those little golden ones for Sunday. Yes. Well, this, is, <laughs> this is hardly comedy. This is Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. I'm playing Brutus. Oh. Well, we, we don't know a lot about William Shakespeare, do we? No, we don't. Ever since he got to Switzerland and living with Noel Coward? Yes. <laughs> He's not writing. I think your friend's got hold of the wrong end of the stick. Please, don't get involved, Mr. Porter. Please no, no. It, don't get involved, son. No, no. <laughs> now, if I could just tell you about my play, Mr. Porter. Yes, well, no. sit down, gentlemen. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like a drink? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Douglas. Yes. Look out. Would <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, you, uh, you uh, pass some drinks, please? Oh, certainly. Who is that? That's Douglas. He dresses me. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> he dresses me. Well, that's what I call living dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lad. I like him. Hellfire. <laughs> Mr. Morcom. Yes. Oh, no, wise. I'm wise. Not for me, thank you. <laughs> now, about your play, Mr. About my play. Yes. Now, let me tell you about it, Mr. Porter. No, let it's me do it. All right. I'll tell you for why. Yes. It's better coming from a stranger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, Mr. Porter, uh, here, is Earl. Uh, and he has written a fantastic play. More of an epic than, than a play. He keeps playing with his nose. Yes, I know. <laughs> and I'm telling you now, yes. if you do this play, you're made. I'm telling you that. Made. You won't have to come on in this funny outfit to get laughs. No. <laughs> I'm telling you that. Because what he's written can only be... Are you all right? Yes, I'm oh. fine. <laughs> can only be described as a tombstone... Yeah. A milestone. 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 I was milestone. close. Yes. I was close. A milestone. Pop my eye out then. <laughs> in British literature. Yeah. And you can't say further than that. Or, as they do say, Pro Nobis Consortium Ad Astra. Pro Nobis Consortium Ad Astra. Ah, yes. Well, what does that mean? Your theatre's falling about your head. Yes. You realise that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got to be quick here. Yeah. 
<laughs> uh, what does that mean? A pro nobis consortium, Saudat ad Astra. Well, <laughs> freely translated, yes. it means don't mess about with the crab sandwiches because the cats walked all over them. <laughs> well, I can't say further than that. Yes. But that hardly describes what the play is about, does it? That's Will you keep out of my play? Yes, keep out of its flaming play. What's the matter with you? It's his play. Not him, you. Not you, him. <laughs> I want to explain to him about my play. All right. Go in that quick change room and get I'll do. Away. I will, I will. I'll go give Douglas a hand. Yeah. Because I've seen him in the Isle of Man. Who? Douglas. <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> Isle of Man. Hey! hey. Right. <laughs> Supporter, about my play, if I could just tell you about. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I. <clears throat> Many. Oh. <laughs> Many years ago, a young lady by the name of Emily Bronte wrote a play called Wuthering Heights. Yes, I've read it. It's a great novel. Well, having read it, you won't need me to tell you that she didn't do a very good job. She didn't. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> now, I've taken what was a very ordinary book, and a very ordinary play, and turned it into a masterpiece. Set up my piano? Do you have a date? Thank you. Carry on, Mr. Wise. Well, in my version of Wuthering Heights, you play the star part, of course. Oh. You play the master of Wuthering Heights, Mr. Earnshaw. Oh, well, that sounds interesting. <laughs> it is absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Move! <laughs> Do you wear this stuff on the stage? Sometimes. Do you get paid as well? Please leave these things alone. I'll stop that, otherwise I might have to slap your wrist. Come on. <laughs> Who else is going to be in this play, Mr. Wise? One of the greatest actors ever to appear on the British stage. Oh, really? Who's that? Good evening. <laughs> and you? Yes, me. Oh. Hey, what? Hey, huh? oh. Did you wear this stuff in the Bruce Forsyth saga? <laughs> when you came on, dressed as Susan Hampshire, with those three other comics, Nairi Dawn and Porter. <laughs> And you did that sand dance with Kenneth, uh, it'll come. More? That's very kind. We'll have another one, yes. Please take them off. Cheeky. Come on. <laughs> I think I'd better consider your offer a little more carefully. Please, I give you my word, Mr. Porter. You've got absolutely nothing to worry about. Now, you can assure me this will really be a serious piece of work. I give you my word. Well, on that condition, I might consider being in your play. <laughs> what you said. The play here wasn't a comedy. It isn't. Well, you must get belly laughs when you walk on dressed like this. Surely, the audience must go woof every time you walk on. Well, those are my ordinary clothes. I wear those in the street. <laughs> Thank you. Well, if you just sign the contract here, Mr. Porter... I can't sign a contract without talking to my agent. Well, there's no problem. No, I'm sorry. I'm ready for the, the second act. <clears throat> Could I have your autograph, please? Yes. Oh, yes, certainly. Yes. <laughs> That's handed, eh? For Tyler Wilson. <laughs> sure. Like a joke, political stuff. <laughs> bye, bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Douglas. Goodbye. 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 And keep taking the pills. Not the yellow ones. They're the ones that are causing it. Don't forget that. I'll see you in the Isle of Man. And don't forget your promise. 